there is a sense where we want to say you don't have to have all the answers, mm -hmm. right? Clearly. And none of us has all the answers to any question at every time, right? That's something we, uh, it's just not a reality. But the flip side of that too is we don't want to, we don't want to be apathetic about it. The modeling that we're doing is just engaging in conversation with people who don't believe what we believe. And our kids have seen their entire lives that that doesn't scare you and I, that, that we are, we're open to conversation with people, that we're inquisitive, we ask people questions, we're, we're wanting to know what they think. And then they see us engaging in the conversations, they see us wrestling with issues too outside of those conversations so they see us having conversations ourselves about these things they see us reading and learning and growing um in all kinds of different topics and areas but um yeah i think i think the modeling that we've been able to do through the trips but also even at home just having um, Mormons come into our home or Jehovah's Witness. So our kids have seen that we regularly engage um, in conversations with people who don't believe in Christianity and that that doesn't scare us or, or repel us in any way. We, we invite it and we're, we're, we, they've seen us grow in it. Yeah, I, I think that modeling is a, kind of the key last point here. Um, and so for instance, when, yeah, when Jehovah's Witnesses show up at the door, which they did a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, if Mormons show up at the door, uh, it, that for us is an opportunity that we, uh, I think is a great opportunity to model for our kids, all of this. Mm -hmm. And so we're inviting someone into our home. You know, we don't just slam the door, say, no, thanks, get out of <laughs> here. No, we, we, we try to let those people in to just model, hey, here's someone who's questioning the Christian faith and um, uh, and, and we're not afraid of that. And so, uh, but of course, I think this requires, there. there is a sense where we want to say you don't have to have all the answers, mm -hmm. right? Clearly. And none of us has all the answers to any question at every time, right? That's something we... Uh, it's just not a reality but the flip side of that too is we don't want to we don't want to be apathetic about it we don't want to just be we don't want to say well and and that's where i'm at is just fine and no we want uh, our lack of knowledge to motivate us too and this is the the other aspect of the, the modeling is modeling how to ask the questions that you're asking questions that you and i are continuing to grow but then, then modeling the learning aspect of it mm -hmm. is that we're seeking out answers, that that we model um, intellectual curiosity, uh, intellectual hunger, uh, intellectual discipline and habits. So our kids seeing us maybe wrestle with a, a question or, hey, maybe we've had some debate at dinner time over a particular issue. Not maybe. I mean, we have. We we debate because we actually don't agree on every single thing. Well, I don't even agree with that. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> so our kids have seen you and I go back and forth. No, no they on haven't. The <laughs> okay, yes, they have. On theological issues, on um, apologetic issues, you know, all, yeah, there's all a little, there's a, a few points of theology that I've had to correct you on. That uh... <laughs> that's funny. I don't remember it that way, but so they they've seen us even in our no, relationship, yeah, knock it around. Um, trying to grow in these things, listening, having to listen to the other person's uh, viewpoint, having to articulate our own viewpoint. So all these things were just just a part of life and. And, and we're okay with that.